With the early access coming out tonight, here's a little checklist of things you should pay attention to while leveling. Keep in mind, this guide is aimed at players whose goal is to get ahead of the curve or reach endgame as quickly and efficiently as possible. If that's not your objective, I hope you'll at least find this content interesting to watch. Without further ado, let's get started. I personally spent a lot of time debating between Adventurer and Veteran, considering I'll be playing as a duo at launch. However, the short answer is, if you want to be quick and efficient, you have to go Adventurer. Hard percentage and XP difference aside, none of that ultimately matters, as you can account for it, especially in a group setting. However, the mobs being smarter in World Tier 2 are the main reason you'd ever consider downgrading. Where, especially on Hardcore, you could potentially have an unfortunate death caused by getting CC to death on World Tier 1, it's practically impossible. There's two notable experience breakpoints while leveling, the level 50 and 70, corresponding to World Tier 3 and 4, which also increase our XP gain. Both of them will significantly increase the amount of experience required to hit the next level, with level 50 requiring more experience to hit level 51 than it will roughly take you to hit levels 14 to 33. Similarly, level 70 will require more experience to hit level 71 than it will roughly take you to hit levels 14 to 50, meaning that these two points in time are the moments you should be looking to optimize your build, with access to sacred items at World Tier 3 and ancestral items at World Tier 4, get ready to fix your gear ASAP if you want to maintain solid XP per hour numbers. Considering all available information, as soon as we get access to sigils, one of the simplest and guaranteed to work efficient XP farms would be just grinding the living hell out of the nightmare dungeons. As such, for efficiency's sake, we'll want to divide our farming strategy into two phases, stock and execute. So phase one, we'll start by clearing everything we can to increase our sigil count, without paying too much attention to our XP per hour per se, and instead focusing on acquiring as many sigils as we possibly can and fixing our gear so that we're ready for phase two. And the second phase will focus on running the same Nightmare Dungeon multiple times until we run out of said dungeon. We'll want to minimize time spent in town and fully focus on XP per hour so any build changes and improvements should be made prior to this phase. Taking into account experience requirements, chances are the world first race will be over no later than 48 hours into launch. Whether you're participating either in the Hardcore or the Lit race, going for world first, or racing against your friends. I wish you all best of luck. Remember to stay hydrated gamers, and with that being said, Aaron Netius, out.